Dorian Pena. Uh, iba ang pangangatawan niya, ano na, he uh, seems to have lost some weight. At uh, mukhang mas uh, mobile. Oh, oh. Si uh, Dorian Pena ng itong mga araw na ito. At saka na ito, Lidad, no? parang uh, naging uh, comfortable din si Dorian sa sistema na in-introduce si Coach uh, Shot Tang Vincent sa San Miguel. You see the coach there with his assistant coach, si Pido Harencio, right beside him. Parang sila talaga USD, ha? Tama. O, dumit ko na ulit atas ko ito. At sa kabila naman, nakita din po si Derek Pumarin ng Chocolate Pets Forum Pals. And it's going to be the two employees up against each other. At first time, these two teams met in the first round sa ating elimination sa Nalo sa Miguel 106-98. But ang import ng San Miguel noon was Paul McMillan who scored 39 points. Now, you know that uh, Galen Young is not going to score 39 points for San Miguel. So for them to be able to beat Talking Tex, they need to keep the score down. They need to play tough defense. Ito ngayon si Don Del Delano to Magma Cardona. Cardona, the Basilica Delano. I've got five on the shot clock. Delano, pinasa ba? Extra pass goes out of bounds. Two seconds on the shot clock. Para sa talk and text. Dito sa unang possession in the ball game. And uh, Papo Yancey coming up with an air ball. A rather uh, tentative start here para sa talk and text. Na? Hindi nila mabuwag yung uh, mahigpit ng depensa ng San Miguel. Jose Vasella starting off together with Brandon Tablai, Daniel DeBrosa, Dorian Pena, and of course Galen Young. The better pass to Dorian Pena against Yancy Del Campo. Salinger for the rebound for Tarkin Tex. And this is Don Bel Belano, Yancy Del Campo, Matt Cardona, and Chihadi Carey. Notice the first offensive touch in San Miguel, they went to the post. Salinger. On this guy to the score. Tien Tres Cagad. And the guy to JJ. Alam mo, Parker, that could be a portion of things to come, huh? San Miguel going to the post with Dorian Peña and Talking Tex going to Salinger with the outside bump. That's right. I think it's important for Talking Tex to make sure that they are on target as Tapos. far as the perimeter is concerned. Para ito, wakanda rin ang depensa pinakikita ng uh, talk and text. Pinagulabog nila yung play ng San Miguel. Well, nababasa rin ang talk and text, no? Na itong bagong sistema ni Coach Shaw Tangkinsen, they will go to the post. And again, they give Dorian Peña a touch. The defense was there. And here is Sanjo once again. Now for Delano. Delano sumaksak with the book. Kiyan si Joe Campo for the easy two. Don Del Balano making that play possible with a penetration. Yung dribble penetration opens the opportunity for the big man to get the pass and score inside. Inside. And he will the post and misses it. Yancy Del Campo para sa rebound for top and text. Don Del Balano may tanga ng bola ngayon. There's the pass to the baseline to Harvey Carey. A uh, seven to nothing run here to start off the game by Talking Tex. Last two field goals in Talking Tex coming from inside the painted area. Well, that is Galen Young was caught stepping on the baseline. San Miguel, hindi pa nakaka-score dito. Now, San Miguel's uh, rotation on defense really leaving much to be desired at least in the opening uh, minute. Kasi hindi nagro-rotate yung last line on defense allowing Talking Tex to score two unmolested layups. Oh, Here's the run. third. That's three straight layups scored by Talking Tex. Worst the interior defense and San Miguel. But you can also credit Don Bel Belano for making those things happen. Nakikita niya yung mga open opportunities para sa kanilang matama-tama. Dominic Rui has a report on Talking Tex. Good afternoon, uh, Dominic. Uh, good afternoon, Ed. Itong uh, Talking Tex phone pass, one of the hottest teams dito sa ating liga. At sabi nga ni Coach uh, Derek Pumarin, eh, they've been consistently inconsistent ng first few games nila. Pero ngayon, towards the tail end, eh, consistent na sila. Ang nangyayari dito, itong uh, Talking Tex phone pass, they know that they need to play defense. Kaya naman, they've, been, they've started to win games at uh, yun nga, yun ang nagsafuel ng kanilang offense. Ed? Alright, thank you. At uh, yun, na, na agawan ni Mac Macarzona ang San Miguel, pero hindi naman sila nakakonvert on the other side. Nandun yung defense ng uh, San Miguel, yung transition defense sila, preventing that layup from uh, Here's a steal. And the man, Agawa, the most gangly young, John Belbelano to Harvey Carey. Carey already with six points, all on uh, passes from John Belbelano. 
and they're all layups. Oh. So high percentage shooting here for uh, Harvey Carey. At the baseline, Dorian Pena blocked from behind by Don Belbelano. Hello, Bayan. Ay, ay, ay. Si salen de la buena, pongo al pal con Dorian Pena. It looks like talking Texas. This is to Daniel DeFosa. Trying to beat the buzzer. Dorian Pena with your face up there. May do malamia na yung tira niya. Natatakot na mapalpal. Sala ba sunod eh? Here's Don Belbinano, he's had three assists all to Harvey Carey. Yancy Del Campo against Dorian Pena. South shot. Pena. Binigay kay Galen Young. Galen Young. Hindi pa nakapag-uumpisa itong si Galen Young. Alam natin ito. Ah, masama. Ah, masama ang upusa. Bad pass by Galen Young. Cardona set up by Don Belbelano. Three-point shot, one goal. Don Belbelano taps it over to Galen Young. So two misses here from Hakma Cardona. And both misses without anyone for the possible offensive rebound. At yun, si Galen Young, ginawa na yung gusto-gusto niyang gawin. Na medyo makapagpainit ng katawan, ano ha? Alam mo, part of importante din na si Galen Young starts making his shots, no? He just can't be an import. He will keep the ball moving. Finding the open man, he's got to assert himself offensively, especially since Salinger is picking him up on defense. Ah, don't uh, mukhang, uh, he tried to do too much, you know, uh, Galen Young, trying to get inside, lost it on the dribble. Samantala Enrico Villanueva met with a round of applause as he makes his second appearance as a San Miguel Beerman. Alam naman natin yung pinag-uusap-usapan ngayon, ano, ha? Yung uh, trade... And the eventual uh, landing of Enrique Bunganava with San Miguel. And si Roman Aduko naman after this uh, Pure Foods, Don Camaso to Red Bull. Well, there's a reason kung bakit biglang uh, dilanan ni Coach uh, John Makitin, si Mac Macardona, on the floor. Zero out of three for Dorian Peña as a player playing the interior. And they're looking for some points now. San Miguel with only two points across the board. Galen Young, the only offensive contributor so far. Ah, sinasabi mo yung pasok ng Rico. Oh, ngayon, no? It's a game. Salinger for three. Here's Olson Vasera. to organize the offense here. Patterson San Miguel again. They go to the low post to Daniel Defensor this time. Cross goes to Olsen Vassella. The kick out. Chris Calagio. Five seconds on the shot clock. Short shot there by Chris Calagio is good. Well, good decision on his part. He found the opening. But there was a mismatch. Karina, no? Galen Young was being guarded by Harvey Carey. Could have taken the outside shot. JJ Salinger. Hindi lang masyado napapasahan natin si Galen Young because the look of the San Miguel are so used to getting uh, shots. Ang ganda na naman ang pasapan. Hindi lang pumasok yung tirang yun ang Harvey Carey. And then Galen Young inside. Danny on the cross into the spin. Danny came out and says uh, he saw a traveling violation there somewhere. Cardona gets into the outside. Malakas. Galen Young starts the break. Paris is San Miguel. Harvey Carey is waiting for him. And Galen puts it up. And he scores to cut the lead. Dan Slinger, now the talk of Texas. J.J. Salinger, very important for si Peaches and Duren about it. Peaches? Okay, si J.J. Salinger, kung gana siya ka-fearless sa court, eh, ganun na naman siya ka-fearful around animals, be it fish, cat, or dogs. Kaya daw yung bata siya, chore niya sa classroom, eh, linisin yung gerbil kids at nakagat yung kanyang kamay. Nahabol na rin daw siya ng mga aso at tumatalong siya sa aso ng kotse para ma-avoid to. Kaya around animals, he panics. Ed, ang pinito? All right, thank you very much, Peaches. Very interesting, yeah. So, yung mga kalaban ni J.J. Salinger, meron na silang inside info. And yet, see Del Campo inside. At off the timeout, Taco Text is able to score. And lead by five now. Danny of the Bronze misses it. And the ball goes outside in favor of Taco Text. Talking Tex continuing to play very tough defense at the post. That time, Daniel Defonso, I thought that shot was blocked. You know, Defonso can hurt you many ways at the post. He can try to power or he can take the fadeaway. Again, he 
He took the fadeaway but he was still blocked kasi nandun yung depesa, nakatutok sa kanya. Last card pass to Mark Macarguana from J.J. Seliger. Finally, Mark Macarguana hits the outside shot. That's a long two para kay Mark Mac. But that should uh, boost his confidence kanina. Sinunsulod ang uh, kanyang mga tira na hindi pumasok. He missed three straight field goal attempts. Galen Young with the jump shot. And Enrico Villanueva going up for that rebound. Tadong gol sa record. And that's a toughness that San Miguel gets from uh, Enrico Villanueva. Getting the offensive rebound, then getting the foul inside. And so two shots here for Enrico Villanueva. Medyo nakakapanibago pa, no? Ha? Nalaka San Miguel... Uh, Uniforms and recall. Like the one we did last week. Simple answer. Call eight eight seven two five eight eight. Simple in Kausa. Direct link. Again, again, drive. Okay, four thirty seven remaining here in the first quarter. And notice that Gabby Espinas is being brought in by Coach Joe Tangkinsen. His role is to spend six fouls guarding Salinger. He's going to be the import defender here for San Miguel. Uh, but the goal is covered. Three seconds on the shot clock. And the outside shot by Yancy Del Campo is no good. Good adjustment on the part of San Miguel's defense. Oh, bad pass by Galen Young. Now, Galen Young handles the ball a lot of times. He has a touch every time San Miguel goes on the offensive. That's also the reason why he's charged with a lot of turnovers, because he That's handles right. the ball so much. He's averaging five turnovers a game, and there was a time that we saw him get 10 turnovers in a game. Well, yeah, five turnovers. Oh, there it is, a five. Oh, five is a real. And Dito Lata is the first quarter. Salinger tries to break away from the defense. Yancy Lee. Let's attack to Harvey Carey. Napapapayaan ng depensa, no? Si Harvey Carey. And he's a guy who likes to cut inside, get close to the basket. He also has a very decent 10-foot jump shot. Eight points now for Harvey Carey. Rico Villanueva. Matras Lama Kiyansi. Go Paco Lama Punta Hanta na Basket. Chris Calagio. Three-point shot will not go. Gabby Espina picks up the rug of Galen Young. Picks it up. For the game to Eloy Tenorio. Calagio. And we have a try. Yes. And that's a great setup on the part of Eloy Tenorio. You knew exactly where Chris Calagio was. Tien Tresión. Back, back pass, oh, oh. He's such a very dependable spot-up shooter, si Chris Calagio, that the point guard who's handling the ball must always be aware where he's going to spot up so that he can get the penetration of the defense focused on him to pass back over to Chris Calagio for the shot. Four-point lead for Tragon Jacks. They have possession. Nancy Del Campo. Aganda na naman na pass to Harvey Carey. Mga talakas naman ang tira. Espinas, pinigay kay Ella Itenorio. The basket, Galen Young. Galen Young looking inside. Takes it there. The basket, Galen Tenorio. For the open shot. Out there. Loose ball picked up by Harvey Carey. J.J. Salinger looking around. Finds Don Del Berano. Nos a baksak sa loob. Hands up to Yancy Del Campo. And he does lay up. Second serving for Yancy. Blocked by Rico Villanueva. And there's Galen Young. Tapping that ball away, Yancey is open. Now he's not going to miss from that distance. But Yancey Del Campo with a tendency to bring the ball down, and that's why he had a difficult time getting the shot off until he was finally stripped. That's right. But he's still there. And he's still there. And he's still there. And he's still there. And an offensive foul is going to be called on the illegal pick. Enrico Villanueva. And that's the Atene connection in San Miguel. Enrico and Jacasi L.A. Tenorio. Madonna, Nick Pablo and Jay Washington are brought in para kay uh, Harvey Carey. Sino pa isa pinag-isabi? Pinag pa isa eh. Si Mac Macandona. Salinger against Los Pinas. No problem. Oh, oh talking text. Giving him the clear out. And Salinger attacking from the outside. Espinas cannot guard him one on one. That's very clear. Two point lead for Tonkin Tex. There's a foul on Balano as Espinas was cutting in. The part that if Espinas is there to give up the foul on Salinger making him feel his physical presence, 
He's got to give up the foul before he comes close on a drive through for a hoop. That time, Pinabayani has right. been us. James Villanueva. Oh, another bad pass, another turnover for San Miguel. The move to the turn over. over. Now the Beerman uh, here in the early going. This is an eight-point lead being enjoyed by Talking Text. Very sloppy play on offense on San Miguel. Too many turnovers. That's a total of eight turnovers for San Miguel against only one for Talking Text in the first quarter. Ito rin mga assists. Pontaus also with the advantage. Ege Deliones has just come into the ball game and he announces it with a jump shot. And now that's a problem when you gamble, when you try to deflect the pass coming to the perimeter shooter, you leave him open and you, as you breeze by, Deliones has a very good shot from that distance. Kathy Estudos inside scores. Good movement uh, without the ball. Foul. Espinas doesn't uh, really usually get minutes playing for San Miguel, but that time moving without See Espinas, so this is a good an opportunity for him to get some uh, minutes in, minutes for himself. He bleeds the three-point play. The Gabi Espinas who could not control his momentum. And the foul is called on Gabi Espinas. Well, Espinas was caught in the switch. And Paul Espinas, he saw Nigeria. But yes. caught in the switch, he moves over to uh, Don Aliado. Aliado got him with a fake. Don Aliado coming off the bench uh, in this game. He's spot up shooter, making sure that he gets for a wide open look. What a two by Don Aliado. From the uh, free throw line, and it is back to an eight point lead. The bottom of the top and text. David Young. Gabby Espinos, Labaque Aliado, has the bounce pass inside to Huka Villanueva, and David Young puts it back there. And Gabby Young is at the point guard uh, slot here. Big left to be an address. And the Lilango. Uh, yeah, that's, foul. that's right, that's an offensive foul, and he admitted it. Oh, he kicked off of Sumipa, kaya nga nagkaroon ng contact. Uh, sometimes, uh, ganyan talaga yung mga tira ng uh, ibang mga player, ano, ha? Merong, parang kumukuha ng bolo dun sa kanilang uh, pagtalon. Eh. O kung minsan may parang reflex action niya, pag yeah. nakikita mo yung defender is coming towards you, parang yung insect of self-preservation. <laughs> Here's Gaylen Young. I don't know if they had a Tenorio. Tenorio is in. And there's a foul. Kumihingi ng uh, goal pending yung mga taga San Miguel. Now, yes, I think they're going to count it. If they count it. But uh, there's a foul, so... It's going to be a three-point play opportunity here for a LA Tenorio. Catch the lead of Talking Text 9-3 at 24-21. KJ Salinger, big problem from the corner. And Jay Washington for the follow-up. And as the buzzer sounds, uh, yeah. the statistical categories, uh, no, ibai basila. That's right. And uh, you know that's that's good because you see a variety of different things that the imports bring to the floor. Kaya naman kikita natin yun na hindi lang yung punto sa pinag-usapan sa imports. You have to do uh, certain things, lalo na ni baka katulog talaga sa kanilang uh, kupunan. Okay, nakikita natin ang turnover story in the first quarter. Ang Birmen eh, meron ng uh, nine turnovers, five of them coming from. No, you 12 points off the turnovers scored by Talking Tech. That has hurt San Miguel. This Palagio misses the three-point shot. Wilson, I open end. And Jay Washington hits the deck on getting the rebound. But this point in the second quarter. Now, a new import defender for San Miguel, see Willie Wilson. And you notice that they are doubling 
Salinger when he's on the outside. Jay Washington on the fall away. Wilson Patterson a rebound. Going to go to L.A. Tenorio. Here's Galen Young. Push up to the jump shot. Voilà. Oh, both players are. Maxwell Yadro, and Jose Peña. And that's our ating matchup na pinag-usapan kanina oh. before the game. Aliado versus Dorian Peña. Uh, we almost felt an earthquake as both those players landed high on the floor. <laughs> And both of them, of course, very, very heavy. Although, of course, Dorian Peña will tell us that he's not as heavy anymore <laughs> as he was before. Here's Calagio. Dorian Peña. Patayon Butigui. A tough defense by Ayado. Here's Ayado Tignano, scoring in the front court. One thing about Dorian Peña is that he's at the post that way. He doesn't have a fadeaway touch up. So you know that he's going to power, so make sure that he doesn't get the power move inside. That's exactly what Don Aliado did. Well, that is Jay Washington just scored his fourth point. And Gibbs talking takes a seven-point lead at 28-21. Gaylin got inside. Off the glass. Getting more offense oriented. Gaylin Young has been taking shots. Parang, uh, parang Simona yung talking text. Although, even with the zone, they still have Sullinger on top of Galen Young. And that's why he went towards the middle. That's where he'd be able to get a much better angle. Three-point play here by Galen Young. And the lead is four. And that's a talking text. There's Sullinger. Pass is deflected. It's picked up by Matt Cardona. Yancey got up there. Look at that. Change the shot. Yeah. That's a zone defense by San Miguel. Here comes Galen Young. Kalina pa gusto ko sila Galen Young na siya magbaba ng bola para sa San Miguel. Pero yung Tenorio. That's around the defense. Finds Galen Young at the corner. Wala. Yancey got up. Oh, catch it to the right now. So Yancey actually nakakarap ng bola. Pero napunta ka dali yung defense. I was waiting. Underneath the basket, four points. Challenger. The others is open. Yes! Oh, big basket. <laughs> Five points now for Ogo Bionis coming off the bench. Bottom of the top of the text. And a tap by Yancy Del Campo picked up by Challenger. Turn over here, Bottom of San Miguel. Jay Washington. And a Tenorio about as a rebound. Oh, what a leap by the <laughs> smallest man on the floor. Who is the smallest man? Why have to see it again? Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll go to be honest with us. We'll talk about that, yes. Another turnover on the pass by Gerald Young. So it's not a turn turnover, it's not against San Miguel. And go to be honest, having some problems. Starting to lose it. Washington Almost basket. is fouled. That ball falling into the hands of talking decks now. Two shots here for uh, Jay Washington. Also did not start tonight. Pat has a talk and text, but has contributed uh, four points to his team's cause. This is good. Uh, we've got another report from Peaches this time on Galen Young. Peaches. Okay, Galen Young actually grew up in Memphis playing basketball with Penny Hardaway. And since Penny Hardaway was three years older, Galen says he tried to pattern his game after Penny's. He says a lot of players wear the jersey number 23 because they like Michael Jordan, but Galen wears number one because he likes Penny. Guys? All right. Penny for your thoughts. Uh, Penny Hardaway. You're going to be a Galen Young. Two time, Yancy Del Campo on a nice offensive putback. Nakakuha pa ng uh, foul. And so, a uh, possibility for a three-point play here para kay Yancy. Just when San Miguel was starting to close the gap. That's right, that gap was down to two points. Malakas. And you notice that Galen Young is taking a breather now on the San Miguel bench. So import less ngayon on San Miguel. And what a time for Galen Young to sit down. Alexander six on that back shot by Daniel DeFonso. Washington not to pick with Daniel DeFonso. Picked up by L.A. Tenorio. Tenorio to the front court. Daniel the on the set. And Daniel DeFonso almost got it on the second try. Il Defonso now with eight points. Six coming here in the second period. 
So locals getting the job done here for San Miguel. They come closing in again. Eight minutes and 17 seconds remaining in the second quarter. Yancy Del Campo. Ego Billones. Sellinger. Barricolico Billones. Billones on the tackle. And the pass to Jay Washington. Oh, what an athletic move. That baseline is wide open for Jay Washington to attack. Then you know I think I need Harvey Carrier. Oh. Seven points now for Jay Washington. I said I've been that and all also came uh, off the bench. So there's a gap in the defense of San Miguel down the baseline. And I can only have the outside. Can you look at this in a second to the outside shot? On the rebound play, there's going to be a loose ball foul. It's going to be called on Bay and Pena. Now, when I'm going to go on the rebound, and he'll have a spot in Bay and Pena. Second personal there on Bay and Pena. Basi Salinger now is giving a breather by Coach Derek Pumar, and so both imports are resting. Harvey Carey is back in the game. Boy, I'm going to pass up to uh, Edgar Bilionis, who was waiting uh, unnoticed underneath. He's got seven points. Edgar Bilionis. That's what we're talking about, yung pulling a hole up, sa intimidation, yung interior defense of San Miguel, no? There's uh, points in the painting scored by Bobby Jets. Lolo, Edgar Bilionis. He's got five in the game. Six-point lead here, Paris uh, talking text. Yancey. Washington is open. Three-point shots, no good. Barry and Pena recovers the rebound. Out of nine, six minutes and 44 seconds to go in the second period. Alagio. Here's Tenorio. And the pass to Dorian Pena was in the line. Yeah, yeah. And a good hesitation move there by Dorian Pena for his first two points in the game. There go the runners setting it up out of the top and text. Harvey Carey giving him the pick. Not Cardona set up for a three point shot. And not too much movement that time on offense for talking text. Settling for the outside shot. Ah, Billones holding him down. Oh, oh. Well, L.A. Tenorio had a step on Egay Billones. Billones, no other recourse but to foul from behind. Okay, a couple of substitutions here. Calagio and Tenorio going out. Tomas uh, Winisi, Olsen Gazzella, and see Brandon Kablai. Nice pass inside to Brandon Kablai, but he had problems controlling the basketball. Daniel the person up against Jay Washington. Oh, nice and Cardona coming up out of nowhere. Cardona to the three. And look at the trail job of Dondel Don Balano. And doing transition defense than San Miguel on the primary score. See, Kasamang Ontiveros ng San Miguel. Oh, ayan naman si Jimmy, si Asi. For them, then. Oh, yeah, the mga players ng ating uh, San Miguel Corporation Philippine team that just won the Seattle Championships in Ratchaburi, Thailand. Congratulations. Alas din mo ulit mo ngayon, di ba? Yes, oh, pupunta sila sa Belgrade for Belgrade. another toughening series. Okay, another turnover. 13 turnovers na against San Miguel. Tapo lang ang talking text. It's a uh, wonder why only uh, six right. points uh, so separate the two teams. Cardona against uh, Brandon Goodline. No opportunity there. Pidelike had to carry inside pass. Broken up. Picked up again by Yancey. Nice left-handed hook shot. Dahilan kung bakit hindi masyadong malaki itong kalabangan ng talking tech. It's because San Miguel is out rebounding talking techs to the tune of 26 to 14. Dylan Young will go to the line. He is very offense-minded. It's a game not but Very, very different from his usual style. 
Dominic Galva pinag-usapan ng San Miguel kanina. Well, hindi mo tutuwa itong si Coach Shot ang Kinsen dahil nga may goal sila in every game is to, for each team na kalapin nila to score only 20 points per quarter. Pero pag tinignan natin yung scoreboard, 42 na ang na-score nitong Token Tech. So sabi na niya, guys, that means we're not playing defense and that's the way we do our defense. So kailangan natin ngayon dumipensa para makabalik sa lorong ito. Ay mukhang yung depensa ng uh, TNT ang gumagana. Oh, kasi at dahil ng third over. Ang sa San Miguel eh. But that's, that's yeah. Tang Kinsen for you, no? He's, he wants to go to the team's strength. And uh, the reason why San Miguel had that eight-game winning streak was because of its defense. They are the league's number one defensive team. And for them to win consistently, they've got to play consistent defense. At the end, we're not going to look the person up against the line with Joe Washington. And the kick out to Michael Dona for the open shot. Hey, Michael. He did a walk on the ground with the blind who rebound. Here's Cardona again. Oh, that time. Made the three-point shot. Three of three shots. Out of here, Mark Cardona. Autumn Tex looking very, very alert. At saka parang more active sila, no? Nako. And look at that. Almost a turnover. Brian Peña, however, misses. And Yancey Del Campo recovers it. And it's taken away by Jalen Young. And again, look at the basket. Yancey again. And he's out with a rebound. Pinagtulungan sa ni Jalen Young at ni Dorian Peña. Si Jalen Young ang tinawagan ng kanyang pangalawang personal foul. Well, so far, Talking Techs doing a much better job hustling for the ball. They are outworking San Miguel. O kaya te, eto, no? Malaki na ang kanyang, kanilang kalabang. And that's a nine-point lead. Although the biggest league of Talking Techs was at 11. That was 11-0. That's right. And I know, nice pass to Harvey Carey. Kanina pa sinusuki ni Don Belbrano itong si uh, Harvey Carey. That time though, uh, Carey was fouled. At bumagsak pa nga. And so he tried to get the two points. Malapit na kasi. Si Yelen Yang ulit ha, pangatlo na yan. Oo, si Yelen Yang with three personal fouls. At si Don Belbrano, nakaka-apat na assist na yan. And Harvey Carey because he moved so well without the ball. Always finds an opportunity to score himself. Into si Pangalawang free throw and Kablai likewise misses and the lead pass to Matt Cardona and he makes it. Uh, the pass may play. Seven points now for Matt Cardona. A precision passing here by Talking Tex. And Cardona a very dependable finisher on Lohalina. He should not have finished the pass break. And they'll count the basket. Rico Villanueva. Well, he was in a no-charge zone. Yes. So, Rico Villanueva in his first game for San Miguel scored four points. He has that total now. Three minutes and 17 seconds remaining in the second quarter. Sarajan. Delano. Well, it's going to go Sarajan. The balance pass to Cardona. Three-point shot by Cardona. It's good. Good recognition by Cardona. Nakasona in San Miguel. And talking text, moving the ball around to find the open man. That's the most good again. At, uh, Both teams in a penalty. The foul of Tatawagan. Salinger, pangatlo na din yan. Yes, uh, pangatlo sa sila ni Gail uh, Young. That's a penalty na yan. Eh. So two shots na yan. Dami mga beautiful faces uh, in the crowd as usual here at the Anonetta Coliseum. But that is Galen Young is at the line. That is San Miguel. Twelve points now for uh, Galen Young. Now JJ Salinger, hindi pa nakaka-score dito sa ating second quarter. Nakapako siya sa five points. But Galen Young, the fact that Salinger has been absent in the scoring dito sa ating second period. But talking text is up oh. by ten. And a bad pass there. By Don Belbelano, Galen Young, to leave the loose of one court, and that's the pass to Daniel Defensa. Underneath the basket, got the foul from Jay Washington. Second personal on Washington. Ano pa napapag-usapan natin ang defensa ng San Miguel, or the lack of it. And Talking Tex is shooting 51.2% from the floor. And that's not really good a good indication of San Miguel's 
defense, you'll want, uh, if you're San Miguel, you'll want Dawkins Tex to shoot less than 40% to make sure that this game is low scoring, but it is San Miguel who's sh shooting barely 40% in the game. Na to. And the Aldefonso makes the second free throw. It's a full court press here for San Miguel. So obviously they want to get some turnovers. They want to change the rhythm of the game. Not that way. Not that way. Again, Harmi Carey scoring inside the painted area. And the Jarrell getting the Pumbuesto, the Gumala without the basketball. Getting to be the British Jarrell. Exactly. And plus he's very strong. So he goes up strong for the hole. And then he scores the layup. And Daddy Ildefonso gets away. Nice pirouette move. Ildefonso really has the moves. Back again in fine form. Back to the NBA threads for San Miguel. Back on Gona. Down to Joe Campo. And try to head it out uh, in a tight situation. That's too tight. When you're going up against his own defense, that defense will collapse once there's someone who penetrates. So the key is to give it up as soon as you penetrate. Rasella. Well, the one has a three-point shot. The average is about one per game, one three-point shot per game to Yale Young. It doesn't take too many of those. And here's Tocket Tex reading the defense that San Miguel is giving it. It's a zone defense. They pass the ball around the perimeter. Baseline cut, but no opportunity for Harvey Carey. Finally an outside shot. Salado misses with four seconds on the shot clock. That's good defense. You notice that Kerry did not have an opportunity to drive the baseline because that zone defense, a 2-3 zone defense, made it impossible for him to get any sort of space down the baseline. Danny and the Bonzo, the guy came Young. Rico Villanueva comes down with the rebound, and the basket of Sela, posting shot for Olsen, Washington got us a rebound, the guy came up, Cardona, Cardona pulls up, voila, Young, the guy came Olsen, Rosella. Well, Sarah looking around, gets it to Rico Villanueva. Villanueva attacks to the basket shot, contra Pectus. And Delano comes out of it. Cardona. Look away pass. Yeah. Sarah sees Danny in the Ponzo. And the Ponzo goes straight to the hole. Well, there's still a uh, situation between Barangay Hinebra and Air 21. Barangay Hinebra had a uh, commanding lead in the fourth quarter that was written down by uh, Air 21. But, uh, Air Jukunu Lali. There's the pass to Yanzu. And you notice that San Miguel changed his defense oh. that time out. Oh, but Don Belbalano. With only one second to go. Uh, the bad inbound pass for the Bruyas uh, remains are at the uh, Sanctuary de San Jose at Green Hills. That's right, ang uh, may bahay ni uh, Patrick Francie, Marijo, is the niece of uh, yung colleague natin from the Philippines, yes. Abba Cordero. Right. Thank you for that text, Abba. All right, a uh, couple of misses there by San Miguel. Pass for play. I'm talking text, Mark Cardona. A partner in the first half, napansin natin, no? A lack of the discrepancy see assist department. Talking text with 19 assists and San Miguel only seven. And you notice that Olson Rosella and LA Tenorio cannot get their assist game going. They cannot play make because Galen Young is handling the ball too much. I feel that Galen Young, if he slides over to number three position and allow LA Tenorio or Olson Rosella to do the playmaking chores, you'll see a much better motion, you'll see a much better rhythm for San Miguel. Right uh, now, Galen is handling the ball too much, and he already has six turnovers. Actually, he's been asking for the basketball to be the backcourt. He wants to make uh, his uh, teammates uh, score. What's happening is that he's going to score the ball. He's going to score the ball. He's going to score the ball. Exactly, no, parang nawawala yung coordination no, ng uh, offense ng San Miguel. And as we said, no, for San Miguel to be so badly out-assisted by any team to the tune of 19-7, to 7, certain adjustments have to be made. Tenorio and Olsen Rosella must get back to their playmaking chores. At Cardona, Naibo, Yancy Del Capo. Yancy has been playing well. Para sa Tocco Texas, he's got 12 points in this game. 
Wesley Gonzalez going up and out to the third shot from Kinsella. And Wesley misses his first shot. No second chance opportunity for San Miguel. Ay, tumapak. Oo. Nakaapak dun. And you have a turnover now against Talking Text. Nancy Olsen, Rosella. And in the first half, Rosella did not score, had only one assist. And that's not typical of Olsen Rosella. Medyo nadidiscarin na yung kanilang normal rhythm, ano ha? Yung flow. Oo. Wesley Gonzalez. Laban naman si Dorian Peña. Off to Gail and Young. Rosella to Dorian Peña at the post. Ayun, kinukuyog si Dorian Peña. And that post move has not really worked for them. And it's Dorian Pena. Daniel DeBose has had more success there. Wesley Gonzalez picks up his first personal foul. So we got out of the line. Let's get to Wesley Gonzalez in the second half. Dancy Del Campo against Dorian Pena. At Cardona, got Wesley up in the air. How do you get to the hand? Could be a three-second violation or a foul underneath. And then the three-second violation. Okay, there was an extra pass. Actually, two extra passes. Yeah. And, you know, when you have two extra passes inside the shaded area, you're bound to get caught for a three-second violation. That's what we're saying. We're going to get out of here. Daniel DeBonzo. Rochelle gets open. Yeah. About time. First two points for us in the center of the game. And the lead is nine, that is a talking text. Matt Cardona. Yancy Del Campo. Here's Selinger. Selinger hasn't scored in a long while. And he is still very quiet and he finally puts it in. Okay, that makes some noise. Oh, so <laughs> Selinger did not score in the second quarter. Now, not going to get Wesley Gonzalez in the game. He's there for defensive purposes. Gail and Young, oh, Dorian Pena was not prepared for that shot, uh, for that pass. But you see what Gail and Young always tries to do. When he puts the ball on the floor, he always goes towards the middle. That's where he can get an angle to shoot or to pass. And that's why his opponents, or rather his, yung mga kakampinya, must anticipate that baka sila mabigyan ng pasa. At that time, Dorian Pena, siya nga ang nabigyan ng pasa, but he was not expecting it. All right. There's Harvey Kelly using the baseline once again. Yancy Del Campo with his long arms. Now that's what happens. If you drive the baseline and you draw the hey. defense, somebody's going to get open from your side for an offensive rebound. This time, Harvey Kelly getting the pass from Yancy Del Campo has got 12 points in the game. Well, Harvey Kelly makes a living down that baseline and underneath the basketball rim. Ano mo naman sarap ni Danny yung defense eh. Maraming tira ito eh. Tsaka kahit saan, we can do the damage. And what a big thing, what a big comeback for Danny Alfonso. Yeah, galing na injury eh. Oo. In fact, he missed the first five games in San Miguel. And there was talk that he might be operated during the conference. Dorian uh, uh, Do Peña staying with uh, J.J. Sullivan. Happens to Olsen Rosella and Tinawagan. First person on Olsen Rosella. You know, Talking Text did very poorly from the free throw line, or has done very poorly from the free throw line. It's a game, no? They've only taken seven attempts and converted twice. That's less than 30% shooting para sa kanila from the line, while San Miguel is going 12 out of 14. So, yung seven free throw attempts ng uh, talking text, may kasama pa yata ng technical yun. Eh. So, they're not, yeah, they're not going to the line enough. And uh, I don't think it's because they're not uh, taking the ball strong. Well, in fact, they're Which means, hindi matindi yung interior defense ng San Miguel. Napapabayaran talking text to score inside. There's Daddy and the Ponzo. Wesley Gonzalez looking at Rico Villanueva. Villanueva inside. And the basket also in Rosella. Oh, yes. 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 
Yes, he goes up there, got the third. Voilà. And the tap goes to Olsen Rosella. Rosella against Bellano. Here's Rico Villanueva versus Juan Silvio Campo. A power move by uh, Rico Villanueva. Galen Young gets it back. A good anticipation by Galen Young when he saw the post player coming in. He wanted to be there for the possible offensive rebound. Off the glass, no. Would you imagine? Ten point lead by Talking Tex. Can you play it again? I'll be carrying out the center. JJ versus Galen Young. And Galen Young grabs the rebound. Paras is on the ground. Again, he brings it up. Paras is there then. Looking around. Trying to press the Gonzalez. Down low again to Luka Vineda by Gonciansi. That is with the play. Back by Gona with another steal. But it's taken back by Luka Vineda. But that is with the first block. By Yancy Del Cato. But I'm going to find the lock. It is a referee thing. And you're not going to talk about that in play. Talking text almost had the turnover against San Miguel. Yancy Del Campo with the foul, but he now has a double double. So game not on. Merlin had 12 points and 11 rebounds. So Yancy doing a great job playing the five position. Very high. Pinag-usapan natin ito kanina, no? Kasi Daniel Puzzle, tsaka si Mark Para sa lakas na di maayaw. You know, that's a sign of a tireless hard worker. Si J.J. Salinger took the shot, and he missed. Siya pa nakakuha ng offensive rebound, off his own miss, and he scored the two points. Ardona gets one of the open. And the rebound, control, nope, not quite. Pinagaw ni Salinger from behind Daniel Puzzle. Yan si Del Campo sumaksak sa loob. Oh, yes! <laughs> Ginger shot. Ito si masabi natin. That interior defense of San Miguel. Very soft in this game. That layup. Ito, meron pa siya three-point play. Actually, there was defense because that caused the foul. Yes. But not strong enough to stop him from, make, from scoring. And if you're going to foul someone who's coming in for a layup, do not want him to score with two points. Well, uh, here... Yancy Del Campo allows Rico Villanueva with a power that move. Is, uh, Rico Villanueva with a three-point play. A lot of times Rico went to his strength, which is his bulk, not his power. Yeah. And he certainly can power his way towards the basket. Oh, he doesn't know how to do it. 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 So, maybe he has to do it. Yes, he does. Okay, he looks like he's okay. Baka sa buwan na lang yun. But, well, Enrico, again, the power move inside. That's what he needs to do. At once he gets the ball at the post, with Rico Villanueva's power play, he cannot afford to keep the ball in his hands for too long because if not, he will get double teamed or the defense can set up to stop his spin. Enrico Villanueva now with seven points in the game for San Miguel. Don Del Verano may dala ng bola para sa talking text. Yan si Leo Campo. Now low to Sonnenberg. Gano'n mas ko Verano. Open shot. Gano'n yan. Ooh. That was a risky pass. And hey, a good pass for Don Del Verano. Well, the way talking text is playing, It doesn't look too good. Pero okay lang naman yan. Professional basketball ito. Talagang ganun ang buhay. Ang sabi nga nila, basketball is such a small world. Who knows, no? You may be the worst of enemies today, but you could be the best of friends and teammates tomorrow. Ito yan. Ito na. Sir Rico Villanueva inside. Masa good. Pero yung kikwela niya ang it's outside for talk and text. Ah, hindi. Doon ako ni referee Montiel ang tawag niya. Sabi siguro ni Gailey Jang, turn over na naman. Gailey Jang, meron ng mawalo. Good shot, Tankinsen. Trying to get his players to be a little more active on defense. They're down by 11. With 5.22 to go on the third. They've never had a taste of the lead. Dito sa buong game na ito. So talagang buong game na nag-ahabol ito sa Miguel. Jalen Young has got 15 points. His first two, however, due to the third. Matt Pandora looking inside. Pinapasulit kay Bellano. 
that'll do it. San Miguel is going back to his own defense. Ooh. And talking picks. Uh, so how the guy uh, better at receiving the pass rather than oh. pushing it out, it seems. Well, again, Agula just talking text, no? Nung uh, pagka set up na zone defense at San Miguel. So they have to read the defense much more carefully. There's Galen Young. So Harvey Gladding ngayon. Ang tumatawa kay Galen Young. They swing it over to Wesley Gonzalez for the show. Big Two shot. Press. At uh, that time, you know, a big old play, they ran the ground to uh, Rico Villareva at the post. Keep pala, it's a swing over to that. Go sa kabila. Paanin na lang ito. Again, San Miguel knocking on the door. Harvey Carey inside. Well, he finds a, he finds a crease. See, Harvey Carey using his strength, his quickness, his ability to get the ball. Oh. Oh. Well, mas swear din siya, no? That hindi pa nakakma yung depensa ng San Miguel. Two shots here para kay Harvey Carey. Carey now with 15 points. Alam pumasok. Yonsi. And Rico Villanueva controls it. Also Rosera. There's Wesley Gonzalez. That's three at the near Blue Eagles at the floor for San Miguel. Oh, si Enrico, si Wesley, and si Olsen. Yes, sir, yes. And one player from the South, si Willie Wilson. That's right. Don Belpilano. Outside shot here by Seven here. Yancey Del Campo having a feast there under the basket here. And that will rebound for the Tulsi Yancey Del Campo. Well, Yancey finds himself wide open for the offensive rebound. Nandun siya sa weak side. Eh si Enrico Villanueva naman nandun sa strong side. Kanya siya nakakakuha ng rebound. Nakalaban niyo doon si Willie Wilson lamang. Okay, nasa penalty na ang San Miguel. Yeah, 13 rebounds for Yanzi yep. Delcampo so far. And what about the five assists? So he's yeah. playing a very complete game, it's Yanzi. Uh, One more for Yanzi Delcampo. And the lead is seven para sa talk and text. Third quarter pa rin tayo mga kaibigan. Three minutes and 37 seconds remaining in this period. Rico Villanueva posting up. Pwede naman yung pasok ng Gaylon Young. Gaylon Young faces Yancey Del Campo. So, ayun. Wala. And Daniel Delano is able to get it. Look how he passed to Yancey Del Campo from Selinger. 14 seconds on the shot clock Palace is sending out of this play L.A. Tenorio Chris Calagro inside to Rico Villanueva and the kick out set up for Wesley Pia Tess and for Wesley Gonzalez I see what happened in that play L.A. Tenorio getting the assist Galen Young not on the floor for San Miguel that's right Six points now for Wesley Gonzalez, who just came in here in the third quarter. Did not see action in the first half. That's good. Shot. Oh. That's good defense by San Miguel. And Luca Villanueva gets the rebound. Out to Tenorio. Down to the middle. Ay, pinasa pa. Sabi ko rin na yun eh. Here's Chris Calagro. Chris Calagro is able to get it to Wesley Gonzalez. Another turnover against San Miguel. That was an important uh, possession. Uh -oh. That was San Miguel. Because that lead was chopped down to just six. Could have been four or even three. But a three-point shot in that play. Ardona is open. Voila. And Daniel the and knocks it away. Last touch by Danny. Now Salinger, never shot an assist. Huh? So he's even out assisting the Galen Young. Galen Young with five assists. A oh, nice pass inside to Jay Washington. He gets it back. Better, better, no foul. Penalty situation against San Miguel. 
Gonzalez. Wesley Gonzalez called for his second personal foul. One minute and 49 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Jay Washington at the line for two. Opening up here, yung atanan di Daha Region 8, labi na di Daha to na Tacloban, bubus ng Leyte, Samar, Biliran. Ang ibig po mga kasama dito sa Aaron Leyte Coliseum, Ed Fixon po lamang, kasama si Strike Strong. Washington makes the free throw. And... Makes it an eight-point lead once again. And a Tenorio, the putback. The credit for Daniel and the Bronson. And now Adam and Gondor Milano has been played by Target Text. Boy, those turnovers certainly hurting San Miguel. And they're not just giving up the ball, but they're also allowing Talking Text to score off those turnovers. Nakaka scored na 29 turnover points on Talking Text at ang San Miguel, only 9. That's 29 to 9 in points of turnovers in favor of Talking Text. Aliado was hoping for a offensive time. Ayan, it's a magic time. The winner from the corner, Mr. Shaw. Daniel Defensa, nakitiya si Wesley Gonzalez with the step ahead. Nice time time for Wesley, finishing the fast break layup. A point for Wesley Gonzalez, I think I'm not going to not chance due to the third quarter because he didn't see action as opposed to Kroger. Ito, anong nga naman ito? Ang hinahabol lang San Miguel. San Miguel inside, yung labas kayo Bagnano. Hey, nakitayan. Daniel Defonso. Talking Tech still has not been able to solve that zone defense at San Miguel. Open shot for Chris Calabria. He can pass. And this is the process that San Miguel has come to the lead and talk to Tech in a long, long while. And San Miguel getting the job done with Galen Young sitting on the bench. No import on the floor for San Miguel. Brandon Calabria tries to get it back. That is Ramo Tenorio. Trying to be with the buzzer. And a bit, the basket of Bignones. Bignones stepped back through for a shot. Almost not quite. Salinger hammered on the follow-up shot. And Salinger shaking up a little bit. Yung headband na napunta na sa leg. Kaya tulak na sa leg niya doon. Alam mo. But of course, uh, you know, you're only human. You get hit in the face. You're going to react. Siyempre. Tao lang. Sabi nga ni Gaila niya kanina, no? Nothing personal. <laughs> <laughs> And JJ Sumner is playing a Gaila Young type of game. <laughs> He's getting the ball moving. He's got uh, his teammates involved in the offense. In fact, uh, three locals now in double figures for talking text. And Jay Washington is just one point away from double figures. Hello, Tenorio. Hey, now, what is the ball going? Up! And then the ball is going to end up in the middle to please the steal. Sonica goes up! Jay Sonica. Jay Sonica. There's going to be a foul. Ayun, lumayo na naman itong talk and text just as San Miguel was closing in. But so far, they've been pretty successful, especially on rebounding. The misses of their teammates are running second chance opportunities within the talk and text. Jason Gonzalez. Rico Villanueva. L.A. Tenorio. And so good for the rebound. There's a lot of activity on the part of Talking Text in the, on the defensive end. And he is. Oh, offensive rebound. Yeah, Tomaso. And comes L.A. Tenorio leading the pack. Wesley Gonzalez against Aguero. Swatted away by Salinger. Something that was goal asking for a goaltending. Well, we'll need to take a, another look. Wesley Gonzalez, all of his eight points coming in the third period. 
Big lift off the bench. Quality minutes. Then the Hugo to take shot back oh. the Meanwhile, um, Gail and Young are still riding the bench. Well, napansin siguro ni Coach Shot Tankinsen, no? Maganda ni lalaro ng mga local niya without Gail and Young. And uh, it's allowing L.A. Tenorio to establish his presence as a playmaker on the floor. At saka maganda yung uh, galaw ng San Miguel sa zone defense nila, no? Yeah. Joe Washington. Malakas. Well, the boys over the rebound. Well, again, because of that zone defense, Jay Washington was afraid that he might be called for a charge. And that's the reason why he didn't take a good shot. And the one I can do that, I can do that. I can do that. Malabo lang talaga oh, si Gale Nyang is about to check in. Ayoko, oh, kaya pala. <laughs> Malapa siya na talaga sa bench. Oh, ah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, a six point lead, but San Miguel with the possession. Wesley Gonzalez certainly getting a big hand from uh, oh, yeah. San Miguel crowd. Nine points. He deserves it. There's Calagio. There's Gale Nyang. Couple of punk takes and a traveling guy and also this car. But then let's get the Chalk up another turnover. That's nine turnovers now for Galen Young. He could have passed the ball. Either way, San Miguel playing with a double post with Ildefonso and Dorian Peña. But Galen Young, he's supposed to be a much better passer than scorer. Tried to score, called for the traveling. Okay, Bullones. Back Cardona. Salinger. Hey, a good block there by Danny I. Well, after the block, Salinger came down with the ball, and that's the reason why he was called for traveling. He should have let go. Gale and Young for three. Joe Washington recovering the other Palace of Park and Text. They're up by six. Salinger. Millones. Oh, first so shot. shot. Yes. And Mark Cardona. And he compounds that by trying to steal off uh, Galen Young and instead picking up the foul. That's a frustration foul on his part. And uh, he could be replaced here. Wilson just came in for Danny I. But uh, see, Gary is about to check in. See, now you have to Gary. Tenorio. There's Calagio. Get it over to the low post. Gale and Young. Calagio. Way to Gale and Young. And the rebound by Salinger. Wide open look here for Chris Calagio again. Gale and Young. He drew the double team and that's why San Miguel making the extra pass. Found the open man. Oh, but the double team. I don't think it's a posted. He makes a lot of impressions in the game. That's all. Let's go to the And And it's the Jonas who will be replaced. Ah, yes, Salinger. Salinger. Oh, what a. Gail and Young against Joe Washington. The pass and shots. Yeah, the Gail and Young. Oh, oh. That's what uh, San Miguel has been missing. So Washington. Cardona. Taipu Teleman. Washington is open. Oh, big basket. To a press down into Jay Washington. 12 points now for Washington. And the lead is back up to seven. Parasa uh, talking text, Gail and Young. Arita si Tenorio, balagaling kay Young. Going inside, out to Tenorio once again. Uh, the hit by shot, two and three, it's good. By L.A. Tenorio. Tenorio with eight points in the game. Don't like that one. Now Donna fires. He's off. 
out of this game again. Picked up by Aliado, Jerry and Pena, back to Young. Canario is a luck sucks at all, but there's a whistle. Now Coach Terry from Ireland doesn't like the combination on the floor here for talking text. It's not rotating quick enough to stop the shoes. It's not rotating quick enough to You know, another perfect example of the interior defense and the picks, huh? Yeah. Cardona. Nice soft shot, yes. 19 points for Yancy Del Campo. When you big man uh, mid-range game, yeah. that's what you're going to do with a lot of people here in the PBA. And Harvey Carey will be called for the foul. 6.05 to go. Alim na naman ang abante ng talk and text over San Miguel. Like to remind you again in our first game, Barangay Ginebra, 1 over A21, 121 to 116. Best player there was one on two for 30 points. Galen Young with a beautiful pirouette. He scores, he'll go to the line. Sullinger is still sitting on the bench on that kind of move. Three point play by Galen Young. And Sun Miguel again knocks on the door, cutting the lead down to three. And then the Hani Purinara, he keep it in a half out the game and Kalamanga Dito Sun Miguel in the entire ball game. It has been talking to in the lead exclusively. Hey! New steal. Harvey Carey gets it back to Jay Washington. Much play there for talking text, but they capitalize just the same. 13 points scored now by Washington. That's a foul. New steal. And that's a penalty now. Uh, talking text. Has a lot of time left, 528. So with the way Talking Tex has been playing uh, defense, they have to be careful. They'll back off now, and San Miguel will want to take advantage and go stronger to the hole. Now, so Salinger is ready to check back in. Ito sinasabi natin, I cannot afford to sit him down too long, especially at this crucial stage. That San Miguel is rallying. They're just four behind. One more shot for Galen Young. Oposi Mac Magadona. Alexi Salinger. Oh, one, more one more shot here for Galen Young. Young with 19 points. He's, he has outscored Salinger, who has been held to 13 points. Look at the three throws here. 10 of 20 for the phone pals. 17 of 21 for the Beerman. Dami Mintis ng talking text. Galen Young cuts it down to three again at 87-84. Malayu Peto, 5.28 to go. Here's Go-Cord the press yes. by San Miguel. So a different kind of defense here by San Miguel coming from the three throw, uh, free throw connection. Oh, that was a ball as a wrap. On the outside, Jay Washington. Yancey. Oh, yes. And talking text, getting a lot of breaks. How many times they've been able to capitalize on watch plays? And I think they're just clicking to the ball in this game. Oh, Galen Young. He was fouled. He was fouled. Right? How did he carry? Oh. On a three point shot. Their feet got uh, entangled. Lucky break for Galen Young. Definitely. Dipomas and Yutira. Si Galen Young, dati nagmohok na si Don Aliado, no? Oo, dati, oo. Dati nagmohok na si Don Aliado, no? Oo, dati, oo. Si Asi ba nagmohok? Hindi, no? Hindi yata, oo. 
that uh, oh, yeah, to every girl. Si manager siya, Pia manager sa PCSO, kung sa iyang luyo. Si Noski Garcia from Pangasinan. Uh, mga kaibigan natin yan, mga taga-Philippine Charity Sweepstakes Office. Okay, okay, katulong din natin yan dito sa PBA. Five three three coming up. This is the latest on Sabres now. Hulog and pa. Well, 8-8-7-2-5-8-8. Simple and Kausa. Ano na gano? Well, Jay Washington came charging in, thinking that it was just a two free throw situation. So they give another free throw. Nagmintis eh. Ano na pa sumusuerte sa free throw to si Gail Linyang eh. Nakuha na pintis pa rin. Galing din pala. Talking text, the fans protesting. Oh, look at that. Oh, one out of... Mali apat yun, ha? Oh, apat. Here's Joe Washington. Out to Pilano. Three there by Sonnigan's no good. Out to Seguin again, the balance pass. Twisting shot by Wilson Gisada, Zola. Wilson Gisada. I love you. That's a shot. Oh, yes. That's a shot. Three-point shot. Three and three is by Chris Galagos. Got another point in the game. And the lead by Tuck and Tess. Slice down to only one. Ito na ang pinakamalapit na score na nagawa ng San Miguel. Now, kung matalo dito ang San Miguel, patay ang Ginebra. Hindi naman patay, kundi makakalunod pa sila sa outright quarterfinals. But they will be out of the running for the semifinals. Ang dami tapik, ang dami tapik sa bola. On the possession of Tarkin Pierce. And now, San Miguel has the opportunity to take the lead. Ito yung sinasabi natin, no? San Miguel will live and die with its defense. And right now, they're hanging to the coattails of Tarkin Pierce because of its defense. They've gotten back in this game because of the defense. And San Miguel has not led the entire game. And that's really good. And San Miguel takes the lead. That's the first lead of San Miguel. And they do it with 3.40 to go. What a comeback. All right. Something I don't believe by one. Galen Young with 22 points. And this is the first time that Galen Young has scored over 20 points in any game in this conference. Oh, it's there. Did you look at Tina? I don't know. Fast break play for something else. Yes, me, Gonzalez. Scores with a foul. San Miguel fans rolling. Alam ko ito, marami rin mga barangay, hindi ako fans dito. That's right. Marami rin, galing kanina. Yan ang kailangan na kailangan ng Ginebra. Wesley Gonzalez, what an explosion off the bench. 12 points, all in the second half for the former Ateneo Blue Eagles. In the ball game, San Miguel now in the lead. And four. San Miguel looking to trap in the back. Oh! Let it down. Cardona. Went for the shot. And should be producing the answer to a couple, but he elected to go for the shot. And that's a favorite hook shot. He marked Mark Cardona. That's his, uh, he has a trademark. He has a patent. The hook that you know, man. Oh. Daniel Defonso. Squares against Yassi. What a basket. Coming from Danny I, he's got 21 in the game. He must realize that Yancy Del Campo is left-handed. Yes. So Daniel Defonso going over to his weak side, the right side of Yancy Del Campo to score. And now it is sending it up by five. Daniel Defonso with 22 in the game. And San Miguel is sticking to that zone defense. Ardona. Oh, yes, a big one. And a shot by Matt Ardona. That's against his own defense. Yeah, press on. Ardona, the last five points. Of talking picks, Gali Saganya. And he now has a total of 17 in the game. 96 94. San Miguel in the lead. Shut up for Ocean Rosella. Oh, look at that big rebound. Galen Young picks up the foul. Well, it's winning time. You see the imports now working overtime. And I'm talking specifically about Galen Young. Number 
But you know, when San Miguel had a run with Galen Young sitting down, he must have told himself, Sandali, dapat yata sa guro. Trabaho na ako dito, baka mamaya sabi rin San Miguel, they can win without me. Eh, siyempre, gusto rin niya sumali. Galen Young, very inconsistent with his free throw shooting. Belano to Sarajay. Back again to Belano. Matt Cardona. Alright. And here is the outlast. Two minutes as J.J. Sarajay scores. And at the outlast, two minutes. Happy to be the outlast making his three batteries. Well, on the dog, Dallas set to beat. So it looks like the imports are taking over the game now. Salinger for talking text and Galen Young now calling the play here and wants a clear out. And why not? He went up against Cardona. He missed. Oh, offensive rebound. Nasa kanya. Does a lose ball five. And he will go to the line. So he's got to sharpen up in his free throw shooting. But I'm not going to do intensity with Galen Young. Oh, yes. Going back. And uh, taking the offensive board. And that's the mark of an intelligent player. Yung nakita niya, ang bumabatay sa kanya si Mac Macardona. He asked for a clear out. And then he struck. Took it strong against Cardona. Galen Young, 12 out of 15 from the line. San Miguel keeping fucking pets at bay. San Miguel now going man to man. Nice pass to Harvey Carey. Again, Carey. Such an expert down the baseline. That's a boy abang. Oh, tama. Nagabang abang lang sa baseline. Nakakawala eh. And he works very well without the ball. Plus, usually, the interior defenses at San Miguel are so focused on trying to get the rebounds or trying to stop the import from driving the lane. Oh, missing the free throw. Very crucial. And I'm going to leave him to still talk in text, huh? Talk in text has missed a total of 11 free throws in this game. 11 free throws missed. All right, mga kaibigan, ito. Sana umabot sa dulo itong boses ko. Ito si Musong Castillo na alam ha. Aabot siya. Daniel Defonso at Lord Bowles. Batras lamang kay Aliado. Iksunan si Rosela. Aliado drives the rebound. Here comes Don Del Bolano. Big opportunity here for talking text. Salinger. Now you notice San Miguel now playing man to man. Salinger. Nagawala. Hey, tumapak si Daniel Defensa. A big break here for talking text. Less than a minute to go. He scored 35 points last time out for talking text. And he's used to scoring big. But yung defensa ng San Miguel talagang tinutukan. Si Salinger has held him down to 15 points. But, talking text is within striking distance. He's a big three-point shot. Uh, Cardona missed it. And on the rebound play, loose ball foul. And that's going to be against talking text. Now, a little bit too early penalty to go for yeah, the three-point shot. No, oh, that's a penalty now, talking text. I was going to say, no, with uh, less than a minute to go, you take a three-point shot, a low percentage shot like that, and you miss. Chances are the ball is going to go off for a long rebound, makukuha ng kalaban. And that time, a poor decision on talking text. They gave up the foul. They were in the penalty. So maybe that three-point shot was not the right decision to make in that situation. So Olsen Rosella, a 90% free throw shooter. You see, Lordi Tugade there watching behind the San Miguel beer bench. Of course, you know that he's being missed because of an injury. And it is a four-point lead for San Miguel. Now, San Miguel has two fouls to give. There's one. Now, was that in the act of shooting? 
but no pass here at that. Okay, not in the act of shooting, so it will be an inb inbound play for Dogin Tex. Merupak is on foul on San Miguel, and they will most likely give up the foul before anyone can take off for a shot. Here's Mike Cardona. And they give up the foul. And that's to disrupt the rhythm. Not only of uh, Macadona, but also the flow. So offensive and talking text. So when you've got a foul to give, you make sure that the one you're fouling is not in the act of shooting. You disrupt the flow and you kill some time. Here's JJ Salinger. Hey! He went up. He went up with the ball. That's a good call. He went up with the ball and came down with it. Salinger will be hit with a technical. He threw the ball at the referee. Now will the referee make the call? The referee will not make the call. That's the he made the call. He made the call. But you notice what the referee did. What the referee did. He did not make an immediate call because he knew that Solinger was all fired up and he would have exploded. Yes. So he walked away, went over to the midcourt line, then made the call. A great move on the part of the PBA referee. Like you said, that was our referee, Mario Montiel, who made the call. That's him. 102-97, five-point lead para San Miguel in that possession. With only 27 seconds to go. Chris Calagia is fouled. I'm talking text, no records, but to give up the foul to stop the clock. But might be a little too late for that with a five-point lead. And that's a two-possession game here. Fast shaping up to be one of the biggest comebacks here Unbelievable. in PBA history. Remember what we said, San Miguel took its first lead with 3.40 to go. And Talking Tex led the entire way until that point. <laughs> Chris Calagua missing the first free throw. It's still a two-possession game here in favor of San Miguel. As Azi Tablava. Glum faces now on uh, San Miguel to this six point cushion. There's one down Bellano trying to throw a three shot. Hard to carry, but look at Bellano. Bellano, Bellano, at the final, La Force. And Salinger again gives up the foul against Olsen Rossella. And certainly not the man to foul in this situation. Yeah, with a six-point lead, that's a two-possession game. Considering you can level with two three-point shots. But now, Olsen Rosella at the line, he will make this a three-possession game. And it's all over. So that previous possession of talking text was crucial. It should have worked very well for a three-point shot opportunity. Or even go for a quick two. No, with the time remaining, they really had no recourse. They had to go for a three-point shot to put some pressure to the call. Scoring a lot of free throws here at the end game. Well, the guards of uh, San Miguel in the end game really sat up and rose to the occasion. And we're not talking of just Olsen Rosella now with 10 points. But we're also talking of L.A. Tenorio, who finishes with eight points, and Cardona has not finished. Here's a steal. They'll go for a three-point shot. Cardona. And San Miguel.